This is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network, now in its seventh year. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey everybody, this is the Ramble, I'm Alex, that's the big red letters, and we'll be here until midnight tonight. Oh uh, yeah, a little time off for Thanksgiving, we hope you all had nice turkey time, and uh, that you're, uh, you're cool, and everything's working just right, and uh, you're back to whatever you have to get done till you get up to the Christmas holiday, when we get another, like a week off, um, but I haven't done this show since last Wednesday, so, you know. Hello, everybody. How are you? Good to see you. Uh, let's see here. What I got to do here? Oh, yeah, I got to admit somebody here to our our, uh, our uh, little panel here, uh, because we do this every uh, week. Why? I have no idea, but we just do it. And here he is, ladies and gentlemen, uncalled for. It's Phil Meyer. There we go. Hello, Phil. How are you? I'm um, I'm doing pretty good. I I, I don't know how uh, late I can stay on the show. Yeah. You know, uh, Macy's is having a smash and grab sale. But they don't want to be outdone <laughs> by Nordstrom's. A smash and grab. Yeah, smash and grab sale. You know, you go in, you bring your own hammer. Oh, know. I see. Okay. So what what brought this on? Is there a news item to that extent? Oh yeah, yeah uh, you don't know in uh, New York and San Francisco. Oh, we heard. San oh yeah, there's been some smash and grab stuff going on. Yeah, yeah. you know they go in, uh, they uh, they smash the cabinets. Louis Vuitton. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why they want. Why that. does Louis Vuitton go in and smash stuff? Uh, he he's uh, he's <laughs> having to give up some of his purses. Yeah. To the uh, to the uh, protesters <laughs> and freedom fighters that yeah, yeah. are running in and getting the. Well, those aren't the freedom fighters. Aren't the people that are smashing and grabbing? They're they're uh, they're Republicans. But they need that stuff, and because they need it, they you know they're not going to prosecute them. And they don't. Do you think this is poor people robbing these stores? Do you well, really think they, they pull up with a uh, newer Mercedes? Yeah, right. Exactly. That's the they, point they, I'm making. They, exactly. They cover up the license plate. Uh, yeah. Somebody yeah. sits in the car in San Fran in Walnut Creek, mm -hmm. two blocks from my apartment. Yeah. Uh, the Nordstrom's there. Mm -hmm. Eighty cars block the street. They uh, ran in. Mm -hmm. Brazenly stole. I don't know how many uh, hundred, two hundred thousand dollars worth of stuff. And got back in their cars and pulled away. Cops only caught three of them. And uh, that's because the people were coming back to do a return. Well, you see, you got to, you, 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 you always have to start off with something very negative. How is that negative? Well, I mean, it's not happy stuff. Well, it is if I get something uh, over at Macy's. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. yeah. You know. But they went Louis Vuitton and who else? They got somebody else too. I'm trying to remember. Uh, there was some was other it store. Target? No, uh, was it? maybe it was and, Target. But yeah, and a, there was an well, Apple. Store why would you do? Why would you do Apple Store, Louis Vuitton, and then do Target? I mean, what are you going to get out of Target? Well, you know, some people don't have taste. You know. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess they're going to get the basics. Um, what else? What else? What do they do get from Target? You know, I never shop at Target. I shoot at them, but I don't shop at them. Actually, if you want to make it sound fancy, you call it Target. Yeah, you know, yeah. I, there, there are those that do that. Yeah, the Target Target's low rent. You know, it's not. Well, it depends on what you need. You need plastic buckets. You go to Target, or you go to uh, what's the other place? Uh, Walmart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know? yeah. There, oh. there are certain things that I've been buying at Walmart for years. Um, uh, plastic bins that are stackable mm -hmm. and clear so you can see what's in it. And then, uh, uh, what else do I buy? I, I, they have towels and they have, uh, you know, bedding, uh, you know, bedspreads, things like that. They're fairly inexpensive and they look nice. Yeah, yeah, okay. So? Yeah. 
What have you been doing? What have I been doing? Well, I've been, oops, I got it. Excuse me, folks. I'm sorry that got in the way. Uh, I'm just trying to raise the audio here just a little bit because I want my my friend here to be heard louder. Okay. Am uh, I am I still low? No. I oh. just I just had to bring you up here. On, oh, and okay. what happens is when I when I bring this thing up, it goes right in the middle of the picture. Oh, the the, the, uh, the zoom. Volume. Because oh. the zoom, I'm doing a section of the of the display. And so anything I do there, like if I take my cursor and I put it here, see folks, see there's the cursor. But I try to keep it uh, uh, keep that from happening. I thought I was the cursor. No, I'd you're say not. All sorts of expletives. Yeah, right. <laughs> so no, no, uh, no uh, we we just had a very nice little Thanksgiving here with a bunch of friends, and uh, it was like about five of us, and uh, we had a nice, uh, wonderful turkey, and you know, Marjorie made all the all the stuff. You know, very nice. Uh, she didn't have to cook as much this year because she went and got it from uh, uh, from. Uh, uh, well, who was it? Farm? No, uh, no. Uh, what, what's that thing where you they, they send you, you you order food? Uh, 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 Uber Eats or no, one no, of no, no, no. This was what, what do you call it? I, God, I'm, I'm out. Takeout? No, it wasn't takeout. It was like you know you the, you order things from them and anyway they sent the turkey because she was going to get the turkey from Fairway. But when yeah. she ordered it, they said, oh, you should have ordered it a week ago. We're not selling any after this point. So she went over to um, um, uh, Fresh Direct. That's it. Went over to Fresh Direct, ordered a turkey. It came half done. And oh, so she, so she had to finish it. Okay. And it was a good turkey. It was a great, terrific turkey. And they sent all the other stuff, too. They sent string, string beans and mashed potatoes and whatever. So she really didn't have to prepare like she normally prepares although she still did i mean she chopped i was she was chopping a lot of stuff up but she she puts out a great table and um uh she she knows how to throw a party you know yeah. she knows how to do a party and it was uh, lovely just lovely my mother uh for thanksgiving when i was a kid used mm -hmm. to order from this place uh called witzel's turkey farm and then we'd go the, the morning of Thanksgiving and uh, pick up bags and bags of stuff. And, I, you know, there was enough for like 20 people. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it was more than like 25 or 30 were, bucks. Were they fresh killed turkeys? Yeah, yeah. It was a turkey farm. They killed Were the they thing. still warm? They, uh, no, they cooked them. They were, oh, they uh, cooked. They they made baked them and everything for you. Cooked them. They stuffed them. They had the pie, the sweet potato. And, oh, boy. And and all the other I'll stuff. I'll tell you, my our friend uh, Natalia, who's Russian, made what she called a flan cake. Uh, was so the, that there was that's the, like a pudding kind of. No, thing? it's a flan. It's I don't know. It's a cake. Yeah. It's in a very nice mold thing, mm -hmm. and it's um um, and it it has like it's almost it seems like it's part cream cheese, although it isn't. It's something else, and then yeah. maybe uh, some other part of it is pastry. This was the highlight of the dinner. Really? Yeah. Oh, this we, we, when, when we ate this, we just went, oh, my God. Yeah. You know, I can die now. You know, yeah. it was that good. Oh, yeah. send me a slice. <laughs> yeah. We still have a slice in the, uh, in the, in the refrigerator, but it doesn't, didn't, didn't stay well. Yeah. Okay. I you know, probably so. had to be fresh. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. So anyway, yeah. you know, we had now, that. My way of dealing with Thanksgiving is uh, I went to the gym in the morning. Mm -hmm. I came back and I fell asleep on the sofa watching television, and I just fell in and out of sleep, and I felt fantastic. I uh, every night I've been falling asleep for a while. We watch something and I fall asleep in the middle of it. Uh, yeah. it, it maybe it's just too boring what we're watching. I don't know. Uh, that's that's a possibility. It's you know you have odd hours. I mean you're, yeah. you're up yeah. sort of early. Yeah. For well, you know that, what I've been dealing with? What I've been dealing with lately is just terrific. Yeah, what's that? You know, they're pointing the building. Now, pointing is when they, in brick buildings, you don't have too many brick buildings in California. Oh, no, we have earthquakes. So, so nobody, you know, does pointing out there to any appreciable extent. Um, but we're, you know, we're completely brick building here. And so they have to do the pointing every now and then. I would say they should do it every 20 years. This thing probably hasn't been done since the building was built. And um, they go and they, they 
hammer out all the grouting and put in new grouting, you know. And if bricks are not good, they pull them out, replace them with new bricks, and they take out sections and things like that. So this has been going on now for, well, they put the scaffolding up uh, two years ago, and this has been going on for about a year. Didn't you say the homeless were living under the scaffolding? Yes, yes. But anyway, so... Uh, do they move when the grout starts falling they, on them? I, I think they do, yeah. But anyway, they've been like drilling and doing stuff like that. But it's been kind of reasonable. And you know, they have these, uh, these uh, what do you call it, these lifts that go up and down that they work on, uh, out of and, you know. Like a window washer. The other guy. morning, I, I didn't get to sleep till about 3 in the morning. Yeah. At 8.30... Bang, bang, bang. Oh, God. I mean, it just woke me up. That's why you're falling asleep. And I couldn't go back to sleep. Yeah. Now, luckily, yeah. for some reason, they weren't out there today until like 2 in the afternoon or something. But, oh, God, I'm telling you. I mean, it was it was louder and worse than it's been during the whole process. Are, are uh, have they finished the top of the building and are working their way down? I, I don't know say. how they do this. They been they move this scaffolding thing over this this what do they what do you call those things that lift up and down? They they work a lift. A, a lift. I don't know if it's a lift. Well, uh, it's, it's is it like the guys that uh, window washer guys? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, but they these are portable. Those things are usually permanent in the buildings. Yeah. Right. But anyway, so um, you know uh, they, uh, they 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 move these things from place to place, so they come down a different place. I don't know how much of the building they've gotten done, but I don't foresee this getting finished before I'm say dead. <laughs> There's know. a lot of bricks in that building. Huh? Be, well, I mean, they're you know, I mean, they, and then they got to take. If it's a rainy day, they're not going to do it. If it's snowing, they're not going to do it. Uh, did I read that you guys had some pretty big rainstorms uh, this week, last week? Did we? I think we did. I don't know. I don't go out. Yeah. What, what do I know? You know. And, uh, oh, here's the worst part. We, we, we're, we're now arguing. We're, we're, you know, I thought it was all over when we it's won in never court. It's over. When we're, did you give the guy the money? Huh? No, we, you, nobody's getting anything yet. Okay. Right. So we, we wanted a, a uh, my lawyer wanted a copy of the lease yeah. so that he could look it over. And they were refusing to send him the lease until the judge said, you send him the lease right now, okay? Because yeah. how can I sign something that's going to, you know, is a contract? Yeah. Unless my lawyer has looked it over first. That's All right. Pretty so anyway, there were all kinds of yelling back and forth about that. Then we get the 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 uh, um, the lease. And it's for, it's for, the bill, you get the bill for the yelling. It's, yeah, it's a lease for one year, which oh, I thought it was going to be two years. Well, it's got to be. It can it can be either one or two years, but it's dependent upon the according to the law. It's a, dependent upon the renter as to whether they want one or two years. Oh, they they charge you a different rate if it's one year. They charge right. you a higher, fat, rate. higher rate if it's two years, but we we, we assume two years, and that's what we uh, want. I thought the higher rate would be one year because then they'd have to re-rent it, and as an expense in re-renting. I don't so know. You, I can't remember. I really, I really can't remember. Rent. But we want it at this price, and we want it for two years, and we yeah. want it to renew it two years. Uh, you know, they they can't deny us ever deny us renewal once yeah, we're. You renewed. want an option. You want an option to renew. Yeah. So, but one of the things, one of the stipulations in there uh, the, was that. Um, and it was the only thing that bothered me. I told the lawyer I want to take it out. I know it sounds stupid, everybody, but it's a stipulation that we can't do anything to the exterior of the building, including washing the windows. Now, every year we hire a guy to go out there <laughs> and clean the windows because they get pretty skeezy, right? Now, with all this work that's going on, after it's over, nobody's going to clean our windows for us. Well, that might be part of the uh, the people that are doing the work on the building. That might be part of their uh, contract. I seriously doubt it. And by the way, I have a I have an air purifier. Yeah. And it's 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 green when everything's fine, and then it turns to orange when there's a little pollution in the air, and then it gets worse. And finally, the last thing is red. And every yeah. day when they're working out there, it turns red. Wow. 
So that means that whatever they're doing is going into your it, unit. Into my unit. And we've kept the window closed. Do you think that that's why you've been uh, having some issues? Uh, you, you weren't feeling that well. I thought it was you were eating the lead paint off the No, I decided it was certain drugs that I was taking. Not Ill illicit drugs, but certain drugs I was taking. And it was the stuff that makes me pee easier, Tamulosin. And I, I was also taking the Cialis, which has somewhat the same thing in it. And so therefore the two of them were making me lightheaded. When I just went down to one, I'm fine. You yeah. Know. Oh, okay. So you were just getting too much of that. But it hurts a little bit when I pee lately. I don't know why. You know. Yeah. I guess it's just getting old. Yeah. 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 Too much use. I know you didn't want to hear that, folks. It was not part of the reason you tuned in tonight was to hear that I'm having a little bit of pain when I pee, you know. Well, is it coming out uh, in odd, with odd colors? No, no, it's fine. And the stream is, oh, do you really want to know this, folks? I'm happy to tell you. The stream is terrific. So, uh, yeah. I don't know, you know. It's probably because they, they went in there and they beat up my prostate really good. I know the feeling. They beat mine so bad it fell out. It fell out, yeah. So, yeah. Do you still have uh, urgency to pee and things like that? Because, yes. of the, yeah, me, I'm having some of those problems, too. Uh, and I've still um, got my prostate. Now, you know, the guy, the urologist told me, it's odd that these guys tell you something, but they don't tell you why and what the benefit would be to do it. Mm -hmm. But uh, before I had the prostate out, he said, uh, do ke Kegels. Kegels, kegels, kegels. yeah. Kegel it. Women do those exercises to tighten up their uh, their hoochie. Yeah, their hoo hoo, their hoo ha. And, uh, yeah, but uh, I didn't realize that if I would have strengthened the the floor or whatever it is that your, your pelvic floor. Yeah, it it would control the urge to pee, and uh, so you know, I haven't made any effort to do it. It's but, funny. Uh, I don't have an urgency to pee unless I get near the toilet. Uh, yeah, in the and, elevator, uh, I could have. I peed. never, I never. I go for walks. I walk for hours. I go to the store, no problem. The minute I come home and see that toilet, yeah, I have the urge to pee. And also, if I turn the water on in the sink, yeah, I suddenly uh, get an urge. Well, for for me, it's uh, standing at the door. Uh, you know, it used to be my garage door, waiting for it to go up, uh -huh. and you run upstairs and and yeah. pee. and I could have peed 20 minutes before today yeah. I, I suddenly realized I hadn't peed I think for something like five hours oh. so I can say that is anybody interested in this are you are you listening to this folks what we're talking right. about this hey, is what talking. old men talk about oh, you know I've been, <laughs> listen I gotta tell you something in the old days I I think I overestimated a good fuck yeah. Okay. And underestimated a, and, and underestimated a good P. Right. Yeah. Well, we, we we took things for granted, you know, uh, and we're learning the hard way. Yeah, we're learning the hard way. Soft way. I don't know. But, but anyway, so uh, but anyway, so we're still happy. I thought it was going to be all over the minute that we the judge said, "I bless you. That's the deal you've made." I mean, it's the deal they have to go by. Uh, but uh, you know, it's it was an oversight, or they actually wanted to. I give think. You the I think. Out. Look, I think that these are landlords who have the idea that this is our property, and we can do with it what we want to do, you know, and we can rent it the way we want to rent it. Well, it's not true, exactly, you know. You know, a and, friend of and, mine. And uh, so you, you know, there was a deal made in the courtroom. My lawyer, being a very good lawyer, specified what the deal was to the judge. Then the judge went through everybody and said, do you agree, do you agree, do you agree? And we all said, yes, we agree. And then all of a sudden, you know, these landlords are trying to change the terms. Well, yeah. a friend of mine told me when it came to leases that yeah. there are three leases. There's the lease that the landlord wants, there's the lease that the tenant wants, and then there's one that's a little bit more neutral. And so if the landlord is the one writing the lease, they're always going to write it in their favor. Yeah. Well, New and, York, we have a whole different situation here. I mean, uh, uh, my lawyer, for instance, specializes in tenant law. Yeah. And he says when he goes to, con you know, le legal conventions, lawyer conventions, 
and they ask him what he does, he says, tenant law, they don't even know what that is in other states. Here, yeah. it's a very big business because, you know, to begin with, we had some of the worst landlords ever in this city. Now, now Donald right. Trump is a landlord. Yes. And so and he, I gather, had a lot of uh, residential property his father had in Brooklyn. His and, father had it in uh, in uh, was it Brooklyn or was it Queens? Yeah, it was Brooklyn. Yeah, yeah uh, Queens. Uh, Queens, maybe. Anyway, he, yeah, his father did that. But then what he didn't like Donald doing was Donald came into the city and started building buildings. But he wasn't as much a renter as he was the building of buildings. Yeah. You know? Uh, and um, and then they would they would house people as well, but I guess they would sell I, those. The units. question is how much of these he really owned. Okay, um, he uh, used to he used to uh, make a lot of his money charging people to put his name on a building. Okay, yeah. and so they would then call it you know Trump Plaza or Trump with this or Trump that. But uh, now. Uh, they're t they're they're taking him off all the buildings. They don't want his name on their buildings. He doesn't have the cachet that he had. Well, I think if you if you have Trump's name on your building, it's also a target. Right. Yeah. You know, and I I know some people who bought a condo, mm -hmm. an apartment in, uh, in 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 one of Trump's buildings down on the west side, and they all got together when all of this started going down and fought to get Trump's name taken off the building. They were one of the first ones. A lot of others followed suit because they felt that, among other things, they bought an, an apartment in this building. Right. And the, the value of that apartment had gone down the minute Trump became president. Yeah. Uh, and so they, they wanted to take the name off the building. They didn't want any association with Trump. It, it may have gone down the minute he started running for president. Probably, probably. But, it, but it, 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 they were worried that, hey, they just spent, you know, $500,000, a million dollars, $2 million to get an apartment in this yeah. building. And then all of a sudden, you know, the property values are starting to go down. So, you know, that was the... Uh, that was the big problem he was so having. There's a double-edged sword there. Maybe the tax liability uh, went down as well. If the if the value Who of the knows? property goes down, maybe you know maybe they pay less tax. Who knows? So what? what it uh, a conspiracy. What else is happening in the news, Phil? That we can talk about. I, you know, it's funny. I I suddenly realized before I came on tonight, I haven't watched the news in a couple of days. Well, I, I've been listening, and you know what happens is I forget. You know, there's so much going on. And it's some terrible stuff. There was a shooting in uh, an Oxford High School. Uh, f three or four people were killed and uh, several others. This is were, where? In um, I think it's in, uh, was it in either Colorado or See, Ohio? See, Michigan, Michigan. Oh, Michigan, Michigan. It, I, it happened. I heard about it tonight. They were yeah, talking it about, about it. Hour, but about I, I wasn't aware that it even had happened. Okay. Yeah, well, you know. Uh, and so that that was a terrible thing, uh, and uh, they, let's see, there was a bunch of other stuff that that's been going on, but uh, you know, it, you forget about it, you get desensitized. Everything seems so normal uh, mm -hmm. lately. You know, you, you hear about these horrendous things. Here, there was another guy around Christmas. Uh, there was a parade mm -hmm. in um, uh, I forgot what city. But uh, the guy drives his SUV and, and kills six people and injures forty. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, and you know they're saying, "Hey, he was uh, let out of jail uh, the day before. He ran over his girlfriend mm -hmm. uh, with the same SUV, uh, and they gave him a thousand dollar bail. So he pays a hundred bucks, and he and he's out of jail. A couple a day later, he mows down a bunch of people. Yeah, uh, yeah. you know, it, it's it's." What is happening to society? Well, I mean, you know, it's like Marjorie says, you know, she says, I'm glad it's the end of our life because this, this country is going to hell, you know. It ain't good. Uh, Elon Omar had a fight with uh, uh, Lauren Bobit. Uh, no, the, it was the other way around. Well, they fought each other. No, you know? no. Bobert uh, even tells a story that she saw, uh, what's her name? The, Elon uh, Omar. Omar. Uh, in, in the, uh, she got in the elevator and she was there. And she says, oh, look, it's the jihad. 
uh, yeah, she well, she made a comment. She that, made that uh, comment. Well, no, no, no. She made another comment that uh, you know, luck uh, in front of a group of other people that Omar, uh, you know, luckily she wasn't wearing a backpack. No, well, that uh, that was later on. But when she was explaining what went on, yeah. she said that she was the one who said to her, "Oh, uh, and, and maybe there were two other women." in there too who were uh well, capital the, police they say, and she said look it's it's the jihad yeah well, and well, and that is you know i mean well, if that's, if that's, if, that's if omar not. had slugged her for that i wouldn't have blamed her yeah you know? well uh i don't but uh, you got the you story know. all wrong it was bobert that was the aggressor in this case i wasn't saying one was the aggressor and one wasn't well i'm saying I'm she saying was the it, aggressor yeah. I, okay. I, all I said was that there was a uh, alter, uh, there was an uh, interaction yeah. between the two of them, and so that that uh, held a, f a few moments of the news. Yeah. And uh, you know what? What other kind of stuff is going on? I mean, uh, there were a couple of stories that I was somewhat paid attention to, and now I can't remember what they were. You know. uh, let's see. Uh, you know, I can find it quickly if I go to what are that news service. Well, to begin with, you know, you finally got Omicron finally popped up in California. Oh yeah, we got one case, but uh, I am Omicron. Yeah, I, I mean, it sounds it sounds like a Marvel villain. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I am Omicron. Um, let's see, breaking news. Let's uh, save and continue. Oh, create an account. I pay for that account. Epoch Times. Epoch Times. Yeah. Yeah. No. Well, oh, Alan says that it's a scissor lift, uh, but it, I think a scissor. It, no, lift that's is, not a scissor lift. No, scissor yeah, lift it has kind of like a yeah. thing that goes up like yeah. this. this yeah, these are on. These are on ropes cables. or cables yeah. that make it go up and down. So you're yeah. wrong. You're wrong, Alan. Yeah, well, yeah. Take a drink. Take a drink. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What? Uh, Here, I'm what gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you on with a couple other people. Okay. Right. Let me it's just bring. Uh, yeah, let me bring them in because I don't like to let them wait. In oh. fact, uh, we had uh, uh, what's his name? Yeah. Uh, you're uh, wrong. You're yeah. wrong, Alan. Wait a minute. Yeah. No, take a drink. Somebody <laughs> has somebody has to turn down their audio. Yeah. And okay. Uh, I think it's Brian. Yeah. But um, why right don't I see anything? Oh, there we go. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That was the car. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh, Brian, you were active this afternoon uh, writing uh, notes to everybody. Uh, yeah. A uh, guy got busted for uh, taking his PPP loan money and yeah. buying a Lamborghini SUV. So I told Phil to, to watch out. I, I told him I didn't really want a Lamborghini SUV, but, uh, you know. Uh, I could think of other things to do with the PPP money. Can you turn your mic down just a little bit, uh, Brian? It's a, it's, oh, it's, a, it's a little on the loud side, yeah. Either that or move it away from you or something like that. Is that better? No, lower. lower. Okay, now let me go in my settings. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, just whisper in the meantime. Yeah. Uh, Charlie yeah. Omicron. Yeah? yeah. We We got one case now. Yeah, not, I don't think we have one in Texas yet. Not, California, we're it, number one. Not <laughs> not too soon. We're going to see two, and then three, yeah. and then everybody's going to be coughing like crazy again. You know? okay. and I they, got my booster. <laughs> is that better? Yeah, yeah, that's much better. And, and, and you know, they did the same stupid thing, right? They started announcing this on Saturday with the stuff coming from UK, and then they said, oh, Monday. Monday, we're going to shut down all the flights, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, I want to know what asshole brought it into this country. That's what I want to know. Uh, did they say that somebody came over from uh, South Africa via Europe and, uh, uh, and, and, and brought it? It was a traveler? I just think that we've got to be very careful about this. You know, we have to be extra careful about it. And I'm saying we should close our borders, yeah. you know, to travel unless you can prove... You've been vaccinated. You've had mm -hmm. at least a double dose of vaccination, uh, and even at that, you should be wearing yourself a you know a mask. I was for closing the borders a long time ago and building the wall. No, but that was the southern border. We're talking about you know flights coming into the this country border. because heard, you know all we have to do is remember what happened to us in New York 
at the beginning of the COVID crisis, we got blindsided. We didn't know that, that, it, could, that it was coming in from Europe. And we weren't, weren't told that it was coming in from Europe. Uh, Trump was so busy spending his time closing down the, you know, China coming over uh, that that he he failed to see that that thing could go to Europe and then come here. We had to be vigilant on all our borders. I think there was a golf tournament going on in in, in England or Scotland uh, that week. So that they didn't close it down from. Is Europe. that was that a Trump's uh, uh, Scottish? Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, the golf club. Well, that's the reason why. Yes. Uh, yes. So two things. One is the way you described the lift, it sounded like a scissor lift. No. But then when you told me it was on ropes, that's not a scissor lift. Okay, I got that clear. Uh, the, what, the thing I wanted to bring what, up it, is, Wait a minute. What is it called? I don't know. A windshield wipers lift. It's Who not knows? a scaffold. It's not a scaffold. I, I don't know. It's yeah, it's not scaffolding. It moves up and down. I, uh, Phil's probably Googling it right now. If he can no, no, I'm it. trying oh. to log into something. Oh, okay. Yeah. Your porn site go down or something? Epic? Is yeah. that what it's called? Well, no, a porn Epic. site. It's called, called bobert.com. That's right. Yeah. We, we see two full moons on, on Phil's. No, uh, keep it down, Phil. By yeah, the way, we should, talk, we should you know, talk about this. Women that we used to be able to jerk off to, like Bobert, don't look so good anymore. She's not bad looking. No, she's not. She's not like she used to look. Well, it's... Congress takes a lot. No, out of she it. looked so good that I felt guilty about you know getting a chubby off of her. Yeah. So, so we didn't Bobert? learn. We Bobert. didn't learn from the last time Bobert COVID the came last... in. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, Charlie. What Charlie? I said I never heard of her until last year, and she didn't look any different this year than she did last year. I think the... she just got elected last year. Yeah. Yeah, but she looked a lot better in the pictures. I thought maybe they were pictures when she was younger. Oh. But then again, we all look great when we're younger. Yes, Alan. So we didn't we didn't learn. This country didn't learn. We got this new virant, uh, uh, you know, virus going uh, variant, Omicron, uh, variant Omicron. Uh, why didn't we shut down the borders? We we played to Trump. You know, we could have. We heard about it a week and a half ago. Why did they wait till Monday to shut the borders down? Uh, that's what I just said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I mi- I'm sorry, I missed that. Well, because they had to wake Biden up. <laughs> yeah, we, we sent out a press release today that we, with the data that we have, we have no problem testing for the, the variant. With our, well, What about treating it? Uh, Brian, come on. We don't treat, we detect. I know. Uh, let me ask you something. Is this new variant, uh, it's easier to catch, but it's not as uh, strong or as no, deadly? No, it's, it's, it's strong and de- deadly. It's just not stronger. Oh. Okay. It's just another variant. And it has something like 50 sub-variants or something within 30, the variant. But, uh, somebody said that 28 of the 30 are stuff that we're already prepared for, and that's why Spike our proteins, proteins is what they're yeah. called. Yeah. Our vaccines will work. Oh, well, you know, I mean, we don't we don't know that much about it yet. It, you know, but you know, here's time. the here's the hard part. Let's say this thing becomes quite virulent, and what we should do, the wise thing to do, would be to shut down. Okay, go back into lockdown. It's not going to yeah. happen. The no. Americans are too stupid to see this as an advantage. That you go into a lockdown, that's how you kill the thing. You know. Uh, uh, lockdowns hadn't worked before. They they worked. Oh, yes, they worked they here work. in New of York. They do. In New York, no, we I took think... wait a minute. In New York, we took the highest infection rate in America. We had nine hundred deaths a day, and we started going after it. And New Yorkers knuckled down, and uh, and all of a sudden, this, it went down to the lowest point of anywhere in the United States. And it's oh. because we put those things into effect. And, um, oh. and New Yorkers didn't complain. They just like New Yorkers do. This is the best of New Yorkers. We just, you know, knuckle down and... That's because most of them are Democrats and understand that this is science and medicine. <laughs> unlike unlike the, the Republicans that, that still think the vaccine was worthless. Hey, I am science, remember? 
Yeah. But if, but if we're able to control this, like what we're seeing, at least at our company, that we're able to detect this just like the other respiratory flu disease, then if the if the vaccines are still working for this one, just like they are with the other variants, then it's going to be, you know, the death toll will go up for people who are unvaccinated again. And, and I'm fine with that. Yeah, yeah, me too. It's mostly Republicans and a few uh, Democrats that are... Uh, you know, that are anti But still, I mean, I got to say to the people listening to me tonight, this isn't over yet, folks. It's nowhere near over. No. You know, and I we may be, wear a mask we, we may be living, we may be living with uh, COVID-19 for years. Get we used to will. it. You know, you're going to be, you're going to carry a mask in your back pocket. Okay. Absolutely. That's what's going to happen. So, and when it's gone, China will still do that too, and Vietnam will still do that too. They always wear masks. Yeah. Well, of course, the uh, air is not so great in either of those countries. Yeah, but they also have a lot lower infection yeah. rate because wearing a mask. Right. Of yeah, I know. People listening. Yeah, you're fine, Jeff. You got to Everything's working. Uh, you're on. You're, we, Jeff, no. you're, you're fine. Yeah, you're fine. Just uh, uh, move your camera a little bit so we can see more of your head. There we go. There. There. It's a beautiful picture. Awesome. I just don't like it. Oh, I haven't seen you in so long. Yeah, it's been a while. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> Happy Hanukkah. What day is this? This is the second day of Hanukkah. Marjorie said yeah. to me the other day, do you realize Hanukkah started yesterday? I said, that's because we're good Jews. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even put my Christmas stuff out. John? Hmm? What? Well, you know something. I know what you're talking about, uh, 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 t Tony, because every year we say to ourselves in the March, shouldn't we take down our menorah? Oh, really? You, know, you keep so, it down. So. My mother, you know, we were going to put it up, but, you know, but we're going to put it up. I have, usually, a, I have a menorah. I put a little case, tree up like a fake In one. case people out there aren't Jewish and don't know what a menorah is, it's eight candles plus what we call a shamas, which is the a ninth candle that lights all the other candles and on the first night you put up one candle second night you put up two candles three candles blah, 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 till the very end by the way can anybody do the math quickly and tell me how many candles are in a passover box of candle a hanukkah Ooh. box of I'll bet there's candles nine no 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 because no. like you got one plus the shamas that's the first yeah. night and you got two so the two, second night three and you, Four, yeah, yeah, yeah. But okay. somebody, I think it's something like 56 so, candles. So, by the way, uh, November 30th was the first day of Hanukkah. Yeah, well, in any, any event, in any event, in yeah, any event, uh, yeah, um, the first uh, I, my problem, I have a menorah here, very nice menorah I've had for years, but I can't figure out where to buy the fucking candles. You gotta go to a temple, to the to the gift in shop. New York, you can't. How about a synagogue? I mean, yeah, I would think they, they all uh, you know, I would think they were they were selling the uh, candles in in grocery stores. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, they used to do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In Brooklyn, I think I see them doing. You know, yeah. from the office, the yeah. brother. Yeah. I gotta look. If I find them, I'll pick them up. I live by Shecky's on if I see it. Well, yeah, don't get them. Amazon, I, I don't get them for me now. I'm. It's. it's oh, it's too late. Because by the time I give them to you, it'll be over. That's true. It'll yeah, be over. Yeah, it'll be over by then. You know. So. You can put them all on at once. Save them for next year. Yeah. yeah. Ready yeah. for next year. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but anyway, so uh, you know, I mean, uh, so I uh, we we never wind up having a menorah because I always forget, you know, and I don't have the candles. I, I think there's forty four of them. Forty four. 44. You'd have to do the math. It's it's one, and then it's one, two, that's three, then there's uh, one, oh, two, yeah. three, and then three is nine, or six. Yeah, six. Uh -huh. And then, uh, oh, I, we, we won't go through this, folks. I'm sorry. So I just looked on Amazon. I can't get the candles to you until the eighth. Yeah, how many candles are there in a box? Does it say? Yeah, I just don't don't light Oh, 44. Say. Okay. All right. 44. Yeah. Well, I used to have a business card at Live 105 in San Francisco that they made up for me as a joke. And it was a box of the of business cards because, you know, you get a box of business cards when you're when you're uh -huh. uh, 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 when you work for somebody. And it said Alex Bennett and then under it, bad Jew. <laughs> But at least non practice this day and age, you can me. sue him for harassment. Yeah, could do that. Could do yeah. that. It's a uh, non profit. <laughs> yeah. So, 
Yeah. Uh, so now we have two women in the in the Republican Party that like to speak out against other people, and mm. you know we got this this new gal, and we got um, a Taylor Green. Green. Well, no, but we've always had but we've always had Bobert. You know, she owns a, a restaurant in oh, really? where's it Wyoming? Where is she? I can't remember now. Colorado. 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 And she owns a restaurant where you're allowed to bring guns in, and it's called I don't know, like the the the. AK forty seven pub or something. I don't know what has shooting a, range or something. The I'll shooting say. range, something yeah. like that. Yeah. Plus, plus we have um, uh, Phil's favorite gal, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Yeah, yeah. Ending yeah. up for freedom. She be a sexy bitch. <laughs> and, you know, oh, there's that uh, NBA player that just became an American citizen. His name is uh, uh, Cantor. And, oh, he, 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 and he uh, took the last name now. Uh, we didn't change his last name to Freedom. This guy's from Turkey. And what yeah. a great guy he is. But what he's doing is he's standing up and saying, look, what's happening to these Muslim? And he's saying what's happening to the Muslims in China and uh, you know, the slavery and the uh, work camps and things like that. There isn't slave. It isn't slavery. They have re what they call re-education camps. That's always the oh, way. That's, that's like rethinking, going. rethinking I don't want to go. police. Yeah. Rethinking police. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what the Democrats do. We're, we're not. We're reimagining. Well, you're, you're talking. You're talking about the Uyghurs is what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. And uh, they are. Uh, they're a group of Muslims. They're they're their own sect. Their own. Yeah. Yeah, one billion. They're, yeah, they're, very, they're huge, and I just don't know. See, I don't know. China, it's kind of ridiculous in a way that China is in a position now where they're a very powerful country economically and technically and everything else. Okay, uh, they don't really need to do this sort of thing. You know, it only it makes them look bad in the eyes of the world, and and to let the Uyghurs practice their religion in their place in china let them do it you know what what how, how are you being hurt by that you know me no uh, no I'm, I'm no i'm talking about oh, the damn. chinese government yeah i they mean did it to the tibetans uh the, the dalai lama and all of those guys i, mean, I think you know. what your biggest problem with china is is it's the same thing we got here too most of our congress and senate are old people all right and so they're not going to come in with new and forward thinking ideas uh, the, in China, the the Chinese government is basically being run by old liners who are still trying to say, well, you know, we've got to have a control on this government, and blah, not realizing that, you know, the times have changed and they have to live with the rest of the world, too. A couple of years ago, I went to a Commonwealth Club lecture and Henry Kissinger was the speaker and uh, he was talking about China. And, and their influence. Now, you got to know that this was a, w a while back because he said that China only spent $8 billion a year on their military. And they said that that is such a small amount, you'll never have to worry about them. But yeah. on, on, the, on the other hand, he did say that their leaders age out at the age of 65. And she is the first leader that they, uh, I don't think they're going to age them out. I don't they, think I've seen some of those people in that uh, in that whatever they call their their senate, regime? their proscenium or presidium, yeah. whatever, um, uh, and they look a lot older than that, Phil. They may look a lot older, but according to Kissinger, they well, this they, was how long ago did you hear this speech by Kissinger? Well, Kissinger was alive at that time. <laughs> we'll yeah. Kissinger refuses to age out. How did how did you uh, get in there? Did you lay the carpet in the place too, Phil? Um, I've been a member of the Commonwealth Club for a long time. Oh. Yeah, but no, but, but my, my question to you is, how long ago was that? I think it was twenty years ago. Well, then things. Are, believe me, they're yeah, old. Right. They're old. But, but the thing about the aging out, I you know, I hadn't heard that it changed, uh, except for she. Uh, uh, but uh, there are other leaders, and so what he was saying was, is that except for who? Was, except for who? Uh, uh, Ping, she, Ping, she, uh, she, her, yeah. her, I, her? yeah, she, yeah, her, she. yeah. All right, uh, who's on first? Yeah. So uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, what he had said in that speech was that uh, at sixty-five, their leaders age out, and that there was going to be a whole new crop of younger people that would be more pro-Western. 
Hmm. And uh, yeah, that happened. Yeah, I guess another was, another what, Republican with a deluded what, what, mind. What he meant is they liked cowboy movies. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. Hey, who's watching Yellowstone? By the way, not me. Not huh? me. Uh, I watched the first four, three or four episodes, and I didn't realize. Well, we, that when we I talked. Saw... To, we talked about this on the Monday show. And oh. by the way, that Monday show has now gotten. I think. Uh, it's it's getting an incredible audience. I don't know why. It really is. But oh, because it, of you, Alex. No, it's. I, I think it's a very good show. Yeah. Uh, but I mean, we got a, just our largest audience last week because we were talking about the Beatles thing on Disney. Yeah, you got me to watch yeah. that. I enjoyed it the first hour. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's pretty incredible. It's yeah, pretty the, how did he do that? Did he clean up that footage? It looks so clear. He abs like. absolutely did. Yeah. Uh, he did a he him, did man. he did a film called uh, "They Not well, Shall Not Grow Old" uh, about the about World War One and the people who fought in it. And what he did in about three, a third of the way through the film, all of a sudden the picture changes. It's colorized and it's very clear. Rather yeah, than the old amazing. grainy film, they had a new process where they could go in and clean that stuff up. And in the case of the Beatles, mm -hmm. in this case. They use that same technology to clean up the video. Oh, it's so um, nice. And it's then so they used another it. system to clean up the sound. They they used artificial intelligence to clean up the sound where they could take each of the instruments, separate them. They were all on a mono track. And and separate them and then remix them. And it's 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 an amazing piece of work. And how yeah, many, you how know, many here have seen it? You, 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 you I was going to tell you, Alex, I saw the first hour before I hooked, called you guys up. It's, it's eight and hours I, long, Tony. You know, what, you know what was cool? Leonard was jamming on one of his songs, and he was playing Jealous Guy in 68, which made it to his solo album. Oh, they were playing well, something. If, the it, if you watch the rest of it, you'll hear, yeah. hear a lot of other songs. I was that, like, holy shit, like, he didn't even get He like had that Teddy delivery. Boy that didn't make it till the single album, uh, I was like, McCartney, oh, no. and, the, and All Things Must Pass, which never yeah, made I heard it until that, that, that mm -hmm. came out on the uh, Harrison album. But anyway, this is one of the... This is the best documentary I've ever seen on. I'm loving it. Yeah. yeah, well, loving it I'm an really hour. Loving. You got to watch about all an hour. Then I came to call you back because I paused it because I want. I, I it like really it. doesn't start really getting good till they move back into the Apple Studios. I mean, and then it gets I, really good. It gets very poignant too. You know, I was going to ask Alex McCartney. Is it just my imagination? That he seems very. Him and Lennon's more subdued. McCartney seems really like, like push it. He had like he knew he knew what he wanted. Like it looked like Harrison in one part was getting a little annoyed. Like, well, well, well hold like? on, it, because it, later on, if you watch the thing, yeah, when Harrison he, walks out and quits. He does, okay. and quits I was like, wait wow. a minute, and quits the yeah. Beatles. I can see why he was getting pissed early and on. And he said, "I'm quit." He yeah. says, "I'm quitting, and I'll see you guys around the clubs. Goodbye." And he walks out oh. the door. Oh, yeah. why didn't get to that? Why didn't get that far? Because I got the impression like, wow, he's a real test master. Yeah. Know. Also, I mean, there are a whole bunch of other things there that uh, are history with the Beatles, like Alan Klein coming to meet with them, oh, and, and all of that. I mean, it's just it's just an amazing document, and uh, I suggest yeah, that everybody here, if you lo love music. Man, it's worth it's worth spending eight hours with, mm, and, yeah, and you know you can be looking at a book or doing your taxes or whatever while it's on because you're like a fly on the wall while all of yeah, this is going okay. on. Listen to him yeah. just jamming out. I said this is cool. But the the cleaning up of this grainy sixteen millimeter film is just amazing, yeah. and you get a whole different idea of what they were like at that time because in the beginning they're fighting with each other, and by the end. They're realizing that they were a band once and they are now again. They felt that same camaraderie they had when they were in Germany in the, uh, uh, in the clubs and the kind of feeling they had in working with each other. But in, during the first half of the film when they were in that cold, dank sound yeah, I mean, stage at Twickenham Studios, that doesn't happen. You're, you're nodding yes, uh, um, Kevin. Did you see it? Yeah, I'm about three hours into it. Yeah. Um, Twickenham must have been freezing because they're oh yeah they were miserable in there. They yeah. kept complaining every day. Yeah, this was shit. This was shit. This was shit. And they really didn't start cooking until they went the into the acoustic suck. You know the whole bit. Yeah, 
And then, of course, it ends with the rooftop concert, which is amazing. You know, I like that they're coming in and they're giving John, you want some tea? They're giving him tea. They got the cheese sandwiches. They're giving him whatever they want. And they're giving him their space. Then it's like, all right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it 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 um, it, it really is. A, it, it's one of those times where you, hoping, yeah. you sit there and you watch something. And you go, boy, I'm glad I watched all of this. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, yeah, amazing. it's amazing to see them working. You know, they're just they're yeah. just blabbing back and forth, but they're getting shit done. It's I mean, crazy. It, it, you know what? You know what happens, out. Kevin? Did you get this feeling that when they were working on a song and they weren't quite getting it right and all that, and finally by the end they had it nailed down? Yeah, that's what it was. It was just you know just this conglomeration of gobbledygook back and forth, and all of a sudden it's done, and they're going, okay. Next. <laughs> and then there is a song that uh, McCartney kind of makes up on the spot, but I think yeah. they should release, Commonwealth, mm -hmm. in which he sings about the racism in the Commonwealth. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, right. and it's a great song. It's I don't know how much material they have unreleased. What? I wonder how much material Alex, they have unreleased that they don't think was good enough to record, like to release it. Like you said, you just mentioned that. Well, so they, were, so they, were the, the, they, they list a whole bunch of stuff that that uh, uh, they talk about looking at lists of their songs. That See, every time they even came up with an idea for a song, they immediately wrote it down and went out and co copyrighted it. So a lot of songs that they never, ever did are in copyright. So they, they're protected. Mm. Um, in fact, Commonwealth is protected. So it, it, it's really, it's just a, it's a great documentary. And I just yeah. thought I'd recommend it to everybody and anybody. Good uh, but Is it through Disney? Huh? Do you get it at, at Disney, Disney Plus? Disney Plus, yeah. Yeah. Disney Plus, yeah. Okay. Uh, aerial work platform is the thing they go up and down a building on cable. What's it called? Aerial work platform. Is that really what they call it? Son of a bitch. Uh, I don't know. It's with oh. AWP. You asked me also what else. <laughs> you asked me earlier what else was going on. I forgot to mention oh. Chris Cuomo may be looking uh, for a job on GabNet. <laughs> they got him. I don't uh, know. You know, I I I have a certain feeling really? about that. I mean, don't you kind of feel a feeling if you if you have a love for your brother that you want to protect him? I mean, I don't have a brother, and I don't know, but wouldn't that be your natural inclination? My brother would, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can protect my friend of mine, yeah. 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 I, I think that they, you know, they're looking to chop heads. They got, you know, one, they're going after the other. They're doing the same thing that they do to candidates that lose an election, like Trump. Uh, you know, they want, they. it's not enough just to beat them. They yeah, want to the lost the election. It doesn't matter. It's not enough to beat them. They they want them. They want to put them in jail, and they and they and they want to hurt them. This this is the new way. Well, of isn't it? Isn't it? Cambodia, they just kill them. Isn't it suspicious? Okay, that they just um, you had uh, uh, what was it? What was they thinking? Oh yeah, that they are. Some of these people are now coming out and announcing they're going to run for governor next year. When the election takes place, the pillow guy. And, no, else? no, two of them. Two of them. One of them is the attorney general of the state of New York, who was asking Cuomo to step down, and the other one is the current lieutenant governor, who was also stabbing Cuomo in the back. They wanted him out so they could run. Sure. I thought the lieutenant governor was that the lieutenant governor that became the governor. Holcomb? Yeah. Ho ho. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Hulk. Uh, Holcomb. Huckum. Hickum. Huck. Whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Chris Cuomo, uh, you know, I guess he probably didn't uh, rape anybody, but he seems to be a prick. Uh, no, but Cuomo didn't rape anybody. I know. I know. Uh, Chris Cuomo didn't rape anybody, but uh, I guess he made, he, made some, he made some enemies on the way up. Who? You're talking about Andrew Cuomo. No, You're talking about I'm, Andrew? I'm Chris Cuomo. afraid of, right? I'm, I'm talking about the news guy, Chris Cuomo. Well, he's never been accused of. Um, I didn't say he was. I just said he was a prick, and people didn't like him. And I, this, this is a way of knocking him off his. Uh, you see, did you see in the news just now? They're going to hire him on the Epic Channel. Oh, uh, you, you don't give up. No, Jesus Christ, you know. <laughs> but you, you, you bring up things that are just. 
you know, he wasn't accused of anything. He wasn't even anything. And you're bringing this up. So. Are, are the drugs starting to kick in? I, yeah. I, I, I'll, tell, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. This is a very interesting story. Um, yeah. I'm watching uh, Jimmy Kimmel on YouTube, his opening monologue. And he does this whole thing, which I could get into about Fauci. And then he shows clips of, like, some of the Fox people going mm -hmm. after Fauci. And mm -hmm. one of them. It was very stupid, by the way. She she said Fauci was another Mengele. Okay, yeah. that's going a little far, you know. They're both doctors. <laughs> yeah, they're both doctors. Yeah, that's the area, right? That's the extent of it. Uh, but none of them patted. Uh, 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 it, but only one of them patted my friend uh, yeah. on the cheek. But anyway, where where were we? Okay, so. Um, they show this one clip of, of this newswoman yelling and screaming that he's he he's like uh, Mengele, and it's Lara Logan. I like Lara I, Logan. Well, I liked Lara Logan, but she seems yeah. to have gone off the rails. They say. I mean, not that you well, look. Are you going to? Do you think Fauci is another Mengele? No, no, I think he's a little power hungry, though. No, but power he hungry? Likes, the guy's he likes, a, a guy. He likes to be in the, the spotlight. The guy's my age. What kind of power can he possibly want? Yeah. To, you, know? you know, the guy is talking to a, a congressman uh, uh, from Kentucky, what's it, Rand Paul, and and says, "I am science." So what I say goes. No, he didn't. You, no, you're he adding. Didn't you're that. adding. Are you off your drugs again, Phil? You're adding to it, Phil. You're making it sound different than it was. He simply okay. said, "He say I am science. I am science. Yes, he is science. Yes, he represents it. Yeah, much um, the same as as Kimmel said, a manicurist is nails. Well, look, yeah, that, yeah, he uh, represents empirical testing. What kind of empirical testing? This is well. This week wear a mask. No, no, Next no, week, no. no it, a it, it, it's a term of what the test results show. Is yeah, it, science changes. Well, it changes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, right. but, it, but science and medicine changes. It's going to be hard to convince. But Bill anyway, right. Laura, let me finish. Let me. Let, wait, wait, we're getting off the rails here. What I was bringing up was Laura Logan. Oh, yeah. And no, she was the bad. one who was on CBS 60 Minutes, 60 minutes and used yeah. to report from very dangerous zones around the world. She was, and, she was and captured and raped. And she was captured and raped oh, in really? Egypt, wow. right? Yeah. Uh, uh, was it Egypt or Iraq? Any good? No, it, 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 was, it was Egypt. Yeah. It was during the, what do you call it, spring? Brotherhood, the, uh, the summer brotherhood. No, it was the spring, uh, uh, spring break in Egypt, yeah. Spring right. break. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway. Off with your head. it sounded good when Charlie said it, so I said it. The ring bank, it's wonderful. Well, they Charlie. had a name for it. They called it the this, something, uh, this, the, spring. the, uh, the uh, something spring, right? Yeah. yeah. But anyway, Arab anyway, spring. Arab spring. anyway, Arab spring. Arab spring. Yeah. We Thank and you, we Charlie. we admired her. You know, we were sorry for her when she got raped, yeah. uh, and after that, she got got uh, suspended or fired by CBS because it turned out that a piece of reporting she did was wrong. I can't remember what it was exactly. Uh, and that she had had uh, misreported the news yeah. and miss uh, and so she got out. She was thrown out of CBS. Well, immediately she goes over to Sinclair Broadcasting, which is very right wing. And she starts really going off the rails on the on the right side. Oh, I mean, more than even a right winger would want to see yeah. somebody go off the rails. And uh, people are writing articles like, "Whatever, what happened to Laura Logan? She was a hero at one time, and now she's this absolute fucking moron." Yeah. So anything to pay the bills, yeah, I guess. Yeah. I, I I guess, you know. Either that or, you know, getting raped to made her brain go a little wonky or CBS firing her. Epic might be reality. Needs it was uh, Benghazi. It was uh, CBS. No, it wasn't F Benghazi. I'm reading it, it uh, from CBS News. CBS asked Laura Logan to take leave after flawed Benghazi report. No, that was, yeah, that was a Benghazi report. But I'm saying she was raped what in Egypt. I thought you meant. No, 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 yeah. No, that's why she was fired. Yeah. It was a flawed Benghazi report. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Phil. I, I thought you were referring to the rape. No. Uh, That's twice Phil's been right. Hey. Well, you know why he's been right? Because he looked at Wikipedia and didn't look at Fox News. Yeah. 
it was. Uh, I just Googled why she was fired, and uh, CBS, uh, uh, and Newsweek, and a bunch of others. Yeah. Even Wikipedia. But anyway, well, I'll tell you what, uh, uh, Kimmel, if you get a chance, go on uh, YouTube and try and find Kimmel's uh, defense of, uh, of Fauci. Uh, he did this whole thing on Fauci and all these people at Fox and other places who, like Rand Paul, who have gone after Fauci and called him all kinds of things. And, and Kimmel says, this guy has been serving this country for 50 yeah. years, 50 years. He got us through AIDS. He got us through Ebola. He got us through the SARS thing. Uh, he has been there. Come, he's he served under, well, he served under Reagan. Yeah. And then he, he served under both Bushes. He served. He served under Trump, who actually said he liked him. Uh, served under uh, 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 Obama. I mean, he served under presidents for the last fifty years, and has done everything he can to warn us about things and to take the lead on trying to prevent diseases from uh, from hitting us and that he's done nothing but help people and a guy here who's tried to prevent death has had death threats how's that for being weird you know maybe he you know? has maybe he has munchausen's disease and he's coming up with all of these plagues just just to no, you know no. what munchausen's disease <laughs> what's that but to begin with, it's Munchausen syndrome. And do you know what Munchausen syndrome is? Yeah, when you make people sick so you can take care no, of them. No. No, yeah. when you get sick to get people to take care of you. Uh, I, no, you don't get was, other people you, sick to take yeah, care of them. Yeah, you, you know, like they would uh, give them drugs to make them sick and then they would... You yeah, know. like mothers used to do with their kids. Yeah, you yeah, know. exactly. You know, it's yeah, Munchausen syndrome. Uh, it's Munchausen syndrome. Yeah, yeah. but anyway, uh, it, it, you know. right again. <laughs> but meanwhile, what, what, what's wrong? Meanwhile, what's what? Doctor Oz is going to run for the Senate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Is, there's yeah. another fucking thing. Yeah, as a, as a Republican. As yeah. a Republican, yes, because he lost his freedom, and and Fauci has his head up his ass. You know, same thing. Uh, uh, he's he's uh, going to uh, run to take over another guy who is retiring from the Senate, uh, taking yeah, over. Well, yeah, so a, he's going to run for Senate. It's so, a seat yeah. that's open. Yeah. yeah, he may not get the nomination, but he says he's running. And he's going to tell you to put lavender soap so you don't have restless leg syndrome I, in the I bottom think, of your head. I think he <laughs> can end up getting elected. I think he's very electable. And I yeah, think, I'm sure he is. Yeah. And he's got enough name recognition. And, and he then he'll tell you to take green tea and put it up your butt and you'll feel better. Well, well here, yeah. here's, well, what I, here's what I don't get. People don't say to themselves, well, he's running. I know who he is. Yeah, it's Dr. Oz. Hey, I like him on TV. But then you don't say to yourself the other thing you should be saying, but what does he know about politics? Yeah. Nothing. He knows what he doesn't like. Huh? He knows what he doesn't like. He doesn't well, like. Well, but there, we you, you, haven't you learned from from other people that you've elected who had no knowledge of how to do the job? Well, most of them that have been elected, none of them have any knowledge of how to do the job. They just know how to oh, look. You know, look, to take look, you and, and get money. Well, that's no. all we need is to put another dimwit in Congress. That's all yeah. we need. I don't think he's a dimwit. I think uh, you know. The, uh, oh yeah. Man. You don't need right. him in in Congress. You need somebody to run for Congress, who's going to represent your area and knows how to bring home the pork for your state and how yeah, to protect your state and how to watch yeah. out for your state, not somebody who's going to go there and go, I'm Dr. Oz. Well, Kevin, yeah. at least he's not promoting gold. <laughs> you know, he may be promoting lavender, be benefit. Lav lavender soap, but, you know, no gold. Yeah, when's the My Pillow guy going to run for something? Exactly. Uh, I, was the my pillow? He hasn't announced yet, but he will. Uh, the, the, the my he's running for state senate where he's really? at. Oh. And also the kid that shot those two guys, he'll probably run for something. Oh, he's, yeah, Rittenhouse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rittenhouse. Yeah. Rittenhouse, yeah. I mean, he's too young to run for anything right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he wouldn't have to run. I think he's going to get so much money from uh, suing civilly. Uh, these uh, uh, news agencies. He at. doesn't need the sue. He's getting donations through the wazoo. Well, I thought his donations, which was set up by his first team of attorneys, were were stolen by those attorneys. Yeah. And uh, a million. 
Good Republicans. Well, well how much do you think it costs an attorney fees for him to defend himself? They had to be doing it pro bono because I tell you, nobody could afford that kind of trial. Not, not even. No, they not, were probably not doing it pro bono. They were probably doing it for the money that might come in from GoFundMe or from yeah. book deals or whatever. That's a possibility. These guys certainly got on the map. And they by the way, up. they were taking a risk because if they didn't find him innocent or not guilty, then uh, uh, they were they were not going to get anything. So, and they could have ruined their reputation. Yes. You know? yeah. That's why those prosecutors didn't want to lose the case under any circumstances because they didn't want the, the loss on their, on their record. Right. Uh, and they were even, I believe they were trying to get a mistrial so they just wouldn't have a loss uh, yeah. and, you know, by doing some of the things that they did. There was one other story in the news, and I can't remember what it was now, that I was, that I was trying to... Uh, well, let me see here. Wait a minute. I have stuff that I... Stacey Abrams is going to run for uh, governor, right? Is she good? She, she good. did before. She tried to run before. Uh, uh, she lost. Did she? Yeah. Uh, she ran a... Well, oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. I think she should run for the Senate or something like that. I think she'd have a better chance at it, you know? Uh, well, Herschel Walker in, in Georgia, and she's from Georgia... Herschel Walker is running against uh, 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 Warnock, and yeah. uh, I, I think Herschel Walker has a really good shot at, oh. uh, at winning. He certainly got the name right. Look at what I have there. That's all he's got his name. Mm -hmm. right? What do you got? J jiggles? Uh, oh, right. Well, I got that too. But you got a boo boo Johnson, Johnson band aid. No, no. Boo boo. Why do you think I have that? Uh, you got another injection? I had to go get a blood draw today. Because I keep getting bad blood draws. He keeps sending me back and back and back. The last time they couldn't get my platelets straight because they couldn't get to the platelets or something. I don't know. So I had to go in for a platelet. So they had to draw blood for the platelets. Okay? So every time they shoot, they do this, I get a black and blue mark. So here, here's the unveiling of my arm now because what she did, she held her finger on it for about two minutes. And that way you prevent your arm from getting black and blue from the shot. Let's see what happened. Well, it didn't it's work. Black or, there it is, right there. It's starting. Or maybe it yeah. won't get worse than that. I don't know. What? Oh, oh, you know what else is going on? Uh, the Supreme Court uh, hearing the uh, pro-life... Uh, oh, shit. Yep. Yeah, it the went just the way it should, they thought it would. What do you mean? Oh, I don't yeah. know what happened. I... I know. I, well, I listen, wait, wait, wait. listen. Listen to Ke uh, Kevin. Well, what they're you... all they're all kind of leaning towards going back backwards, back to Roe versus Wade, and no turning. It's it's just hints of that, but that's what it looks uh, like. Uh, what of doing away with Roe versus Wade? That's great. Yeah, uh, Kavanaugh kind of made his little comments today, and so did uh, what's her name? Okay. The latest one. Well, what's here here is to begin with. I don't have any any legal expert here, but. Uh, to begin with, um, the, the, it, the question is whether 16 weeks, that you, have to, you can't have an abortion over 16 weeks. Yeah, well, that's going to ride for a while. That'll go for, uh, what, till their next, uh, they said it'll go for, to what, June, I think? Yeah. But hey, Brian, Toby you Barrett test? made a comment uh, about, um, you know, what everybody thought she was going to say, that... She figured that you can go and um, adopt kids so much easier now. So, you know, you, the the the, the um, it's so much easier to adopt kids now. So you could probably just go back to uh, dumping dumping the uh, Roe v versus Wade uh, Roe Roe v Wade and I, the other and putting all these kids up for adoption. Yeah, just to, just make and, everybody and have it, the kids so, and then so, adopt so if you, them. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait a minute. So if you were to put a glut of kids like that on the right. market, let's say, I hate right. to use the term the market, but there's just know. people lined up to get them. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There's there there'll be too many of them, and they won't get homes. Right. right. All right. I don't know if you guys it's, are they're... hearing it the same way I'm hearing it because I I listened to maybe the first twenty minutes and it was Clarence Thomas. 
uh, asking questions. And to tell you the truth, everybody that uh, was on the Supreme Court sounded very neutral. They were asking questions. They were trying to understand the different arguments. And I, I didn't hear anything negative. That's not the, what that's not what most of the news people felt. Well, and the, the quote from Kavanaugh was that they wanted to he wanted to go back to a neutral. You want to go back to neutral, uh, you know, go back to states' rights. Well, the fact of the matter is that no matter what the Supreme Court says in this case, which is uh, the uh, it's Louisiana, right? Yeah. No, it's um, uh, Mississippi. Mississippi, that, that right. Okay. That oh, bastion yeah, yeah. of intellectuality. Yeah. Well, they all look like the point is that if, uh, let's say they say, okay, the law can stand as it's now said, stated in, in Mississippi, that doesn't mean that California can't say you can do it all during the term of the of the of the, right. of the pregnancy. I think what they're saying is that they want each state to be able to to decide how they're going to address it, rather than it being the law of the land. But yeah, because, well, right well I don't think. See, I don't think that's right. And here's but the reason. See, that's what Kavanaugh Kavanaugh said that during during his. Uh, his, you know, his interviews, I guess you'd call them. Hearings. That, yeah, that he said that he felt that that was the law and that's the way it should stay, and now he's reversing that. No, because they're listening to the argument. I don't think anybody's no, made it. No, no, he said that he said that he felt Roe versus Wade has been... Settled a, law. Settled law for so long that it should not be changed. And right. now he's and now willing he's changing to change his tone. No, yeah. but that may be the way it goes. No, 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 that isn't the way it goes. He told Congress that this is what he I was going to do. I know, but they haven't made any decisions on this case. They're they have not, the correct. They're here but he's, and, and, but Phil, and everybody, the media, is inferring. No, it's that, not the media. No, it's what he said. It's not inference. It's, there was a quote. today. No, yes, he quote. did. According to Kevin, Kevin, he did say something today. No, I, I, I don't. Uh, even Clarence Thomas only asked questions, and they were totally neutral. Well, that's because oh, Clarence well, Thomas that, is well, a dope. Yeah. 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 Hey, hey, Phil, listen. There were reporters in the room today. I heard the audio. Okay, good. Then you heard what I heard then, that there were uh, justices who were giving their interpretation of what the law should be. They're not supposed to give their interpretation. But, but they Charlie, did. But they uh, did. Well, they're not supposed to. Charlie, well, well, but they did. They can do anything they goddamn did. please in the Supreme you Court. They did. Charlie's hand's going to fall off, but uh, Jack, you thought they did. Charlie? No. Charlie? I just don't understand how they're getting around the 13th Amendment which states that involuntary servitude shall not exist in the United States. What about how is the right not, of the unborn? A woman to give birth there is no, there is no, there is no amendment, Phil, about yeah. the, the, about the unborn. Yeah. There it's, is, there in is the preamble of the Constitution. No, no, it's not there. The right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. You're not born until you're born. You're not living. No, that's your interpretation. Well, that's it, not uh, my interpretation of others. If you have a heartbeat, you must be living. No, that's not true. Oh, yeah, Bill. that's not true. You, you, to, to begin with, you ask any doctor that somebody's heart can keep beating, but if they're brain dead, they're dead. But even the, even though their heart is still beating, uh, heartbeat the has nothing is not to do if with you're life. You're alive or not? The question is, you can't force another living being to be subservient to you, but you're trying to force a woman to be subservient to the fetus. Then wear a raincoat. You know, what can I tell you? If you have you got to wear a raincoat. You know, the thing is, it, it's if you're going what, to. What was that? What was that? Life. What did that mean? Wear a raincoat. A condom. A condom. A condom. Oh, condom. Oh, so uh, it's a nice way of saying condoms. Sure, Phil. I'm sure you That's loved fine. using condoms, condoms didn't you? No, I didn't. <laughs> hey, hey, fellas, look. If you if we if we want to take this thing from the standpoint of what uh, religious organizations and religious denominations say, first of all, if a child or a fetus is a living entity before it breaks through into the world. How come the Catholic Church does not give last rights when uh, uh, there is a uh, natural abortion? Yes, when there's a miscarriage. Why I, is it that you, the, could, you could ask for last rights? Uh, you know, uh, no. I, 
my uh, ex-wife and I, we had a, we lost a child uh, in, six months in. And, uh, you know, they, they, at the hospital, they said, you know, do you, do you want no, That's a, six months in, Phil. That's, the child was already sentient. Six months, yeah. That's different. It's not different. Yes, it, it is. Oh, yeah. The, it's, she's viable in six months. Uh -uh. She's not viable before that. Yeah. Well, what are you going to do know. when the baby's still in there before the abortion yell up the lady's womb? Oh, no, Come man. on. It's an abortion. You want to well, wait a minute. I, you know something? Uh, uh, Brian's been very quiet tonight. Do you have any thoughts on this, Brian? Uh, no. Good <laughs> <laughs> hey, answer. If you're thinking about using the carpool lane, if that baby's alive, you should be able to use carpool lane. Yes. <laughs> I like that. But also, this Mississippi law would have the um, mother not be able to decide after i think it is going to be 16 uh, weeks 16 weeks right right yeah. well it, look the only argument i would i would i would give them for that is that if you know if you don't know whether you want to have that child after 16 weeks uh you've had time to think it over it's where in texas what is it it's uh six, it's weeks. six weeks some six women weeks. don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks but if they bought a pregnancy kit from uh, Brian's company, they would know. We don't do pregnancy kits. It's time you did. Yeah, but but no, what I'm saying is is that that the Texas thing is just absolutely disgusting because some women don't even know they're pregnant at six weeks. But at 16 weeks, you know you are, and you should have known the decision. So it's not as onerous as it would be if it was like it is in Texas. Let me put it that Especially way. Texas, don't they have those, those shows on uh, whatever those channels are, the Bravo or something, that the, those ladies are pregnant and they don't even know? Oh, well, that's Mari Povich. I, I, no, no, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of MTV, Teen, no, that's, that's Teen Moms, Network. or whatever. Brian's got the Bravo Network he owns. <laughs> Who owns Bravo? Brian. Oh, Brian? Yeah. yeah. What, what's your nickname there? Brian Bravo. Yeah, yeah and Bravo TV. <laughs> <laughs> right? so, so you're the one who watches Bravo, huh? Uh, only Brian's. <laughs> I remember when Bravo was the arts network does anybody remember that yeah. when it was the arts network and all of a sudden now it's like housewives of practically everywhere in the world <laughs> mediterranean below deck yes below deck below deck, deck. Below deck. Oh, God. my favorite show my favorite, show. My favorite too yeah you gotta be careful when you tell bill something he just threw brian under the bus <laughs> what, what did he just say about bravo you know and stuff like that i mean i don't think brian wanted was, that to come was, out it was years before uh, uh, Bravo TV was around. Yeah. I, didn't, I should have sued those people. Yeah. Who should have sued like them? That? Well, everybody suing everybody else. I'm sick of people. I'm sick of lawyers making the kind of money they make. Okay? Let's all stop suing each other. All right? By the way, what kind of... A, Trump. What kind of a moron is uh, 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 Rand Paul? Just an I mean, absolute type, huh? Brain dead. Brain dead. The biggest type of moron. I, I like the fact that he takes on Fauci. Oh come on, he looks stupid. Don't you me. know what I always say to Phil? You know is, what you're doing? You're picking on an old man. Okay. Alpha Doc is attack Fauci. I mean, Fauci's probably my age, almost my yeah, age. Yeah, he is. Is, is he age 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 younger? Yeah, age, 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 yeah. So I mean. What what is that? He's uh, listening to. Uh, yeah. Anyway, yeah. Uh, the the fact of the matter is is that uh, that uh, Fauci is uh, he's an old guy. You know, leave him alone. He's been working to try and save us. And plus, I, I he love, knows I, what the fuck he's doing. He's a doctor. He's not like Rand. What is Rand, Rand Paul? Paul he's, doesn't. What he's is he? Ophthalmologist. Ophthalmologist. He knows everything <laughs> about infectious <laughs> diseases. He's got his eye on you. Baby. Yeah. Well, the, so the next time you need a stent, Bill, go get an ophthalmologist instead of a cardiologist. <laughs> I go to yeah. Kaiser. I probably did. <laughs> They're actually pretty good. They take pretty good care of you. Surprising you're still around. <laughs> I, mean, I, I know one thing. What? I know one thing. What? If what? if men were required to uh, have a vasectomy, 
then uh, by law, then uh, abortions would become high church events. How do they do you it know? in China? You know, with the one one child rule. Oh, they, oh, they, oh, they don't the have way. it anymore, Phil. Oh, they did away with it. Why they got two now? No, they don't have it anymore. They did away with it, and 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 it wasn't really number two. It no, it was a it was a you could only have one kid. You could have a second one if you wanted to pay for it. Yeah, you had to pay a, a duty a to have another kid, uh, but th they did away with that because what they found was a, a whole disparity and more uh, uh, more boys than girls in the country. Yeah, you know because abortion was legal there, and they would simply abort uh, any child they knew was going to be a female because the males were supporting the parents. Yeah. Okay. So they decided after a long time that, that was a bad idea, and now you can have as many kids as you want. And now there's an explosion of births in China. So it's, you know. And as for the, uh, uh, the thing that, uh, uh, not abortion, but uh, adoption is an option. When Don and I got married, you know, we were both middle-aged, and we decided that we wanted to adopt a kid. They told you you couldn't. They told us we couldn't. And here's why. She was 37, 38. I was almost 44, and I had a long-term medical condition, and they said we couldn't adopt. And we told them we'd take anything that was, you know, that was available. And there were close to 300 children in Dallas County that were available for adoption, and they would not even talk to us. Uh, you know, after uh, my ex and I had that miscarriage, uh, we... She had pregnant. the miscarriage. You right. were with her she at got, the time. She got pregnant again. Yeah. And uh, we went to this doctor that does the... Uh, well, we had an amnio just to see if there was any issues. But uh, they, they uh, what is it that they have that wand and they can see... Uh, Sonogram. Ultrasonic. Right. So we went to this doctor... And uh, it was an Indian doctor, and they did a sonogram. And there was a bunch of other women in, in the office. And uh, so I, I said, well, what's, what's the deal? And they said, well, Indians prize uh, male babies. And what they did was if they found out that the baby was a female, they would, uh, they would um, abort. Did and they do the ultrasound on you, Phil? Yes. Uh, you know, because they knew I had a brain, but they, they couldn't do it on you because it was an empty cavity. But uh, the, uh, anyway, uh, so in India, I guess it's the same thing. The culture uh, respects male babies. and It isn't uh, a question of respecting male babies in China. It was about the fact that when males grew up, they would support the family, the well, parents in their old a, age. And well, the, I have a feeling yeah. it's the same thing in India because Indian yeah. women get a dowry when they marry and yeah. uh yeah. so the parents have to give the dowry to the uh, yeah. the, uh male well family. there's there's our lovely and attractive theme song and uh, i know that jack's got to get going here because he's got a sh there he goes uh yeah. to do a show uh and uh, phil thank you so much i'm glad you stuck around even though you're highly misinformed uh when you don't have wikipedia uh brian great to see you uh, and uh, hope everything was a good Thanksgiving. Yes, very good. Good. And uh, where are you going to park that Lamborghini? Uh, yeah, uh, that's yours. Yeah. Uh, I think yeah. I had a, believe me, I had a friend who had a Lamborghini. We traveled to Tahoe in it. It was the most arduous, hard ride I've ever had in my life. The cars look great, you. but man, they are not comfortable. Uh, Charlie Wallace, thank you so much. Alan, thank you. Uh, Tony, good seeing you again. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. see you probably later this week. Also, thank you to to, uh, to our good friend Jeff and and Brian, and uh, uh, Kevin. Always a pleasure to have you here. Everybody, why don't you give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go, folks. That's our citizen panel, and uh, they're gone. Okay, and I'm out of sync, but I won't be when I get rid of this here okay got to get rid of them. there we go a little bit better now anyway hey listen uh jack bishop is next he's here with the uh with the uh with the intersection 
and he'll be taking your calls. So stick around and call him so he won't be alone. Okay? And we'll see you again uh, tomorrow night, right here, 1030. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And if you aren't vaccinated, get that needle in your arm, okay? Night, everybody. Bye.